This is going to be installing the battery of the, on the uh, altimeter. And I'm using a NICAD battery, not a NICAD, a, a LiPo. LiPo means lithium polymer. Uh, at Apogee, we sell two different versions. We sell a 900 milliamp hour and a 400 milliamp hour. And you can use either one with this altimeter bay. Um, on the other sizes that we have, you have to use the smaller one, but on this one, there's enough room to use the bigger one. And basically, it gets taped to the bottom of the board, um, but I need to get the tape around it, so that's why I want to loosen this up a little bit. I don't want to take them all the way out, just loosen them up so I can get some tape underneath. And I'm going to use masking tape. And this is blue masking tape. You can use ordinary masking tape. This is just what I had available. And I'm going to run it underneath the board. Just like that. And tape it down on the outside here. These are light enough that they don't move, shift around too much. Now you'll notice that um, my uh, USB switch right here, I have to press the tape down if I want to get my plug in there, but it'll work. Um, on this particular altimeter, um, it has the uh, plug that plugs directly into the altimeter like this, so you don't really need to do anything extra. If you're using the uh, perfect flight altimeter, you do need the little um, adapter plug. And I thought I had one here. I don't. But the adapter plug allows you to, um, it splits these wires so that you can plug it into the ports on top of the altimeter itself because uh, obviously this doesn't go into those. So there's just a little plug that you can plug in here and it just separates the wires out. Because what happens if you clip these off, now you don't have a way to charge it because this plugs into the charger. <laughs> so we, we sell a separate little pigtail that you can plug into that so you can plug into this. And I wish I had one here to show you what it looks like, but uh, I think I'll pause here and find it and so you can see what it looks like. I'm back. Uh, here's the little connector. This is called a JST connector. Um, and we, we got wires spliced on it. So on your battery, uh, the battery would plug into that. And then these wires would plug into your altimeter into the proper ports. And these are um, polarity sensitive. So on the altimeter where it says negative, that has to be the black wire. The black wire goes in there. The red wire goes next to it. Just like it'll go in there just like that. And that's for the perfect flight. Uh, but if you're using the Easy Mini, as I said, this connector can plug in directly into the altimeter like that. It's kind of convenient. So for now, I'm just going to leave that undone. So um, our next step is to start connecting up all the other wires. We'll start with the switch. Uh, if you look on your altimeter, you can see right here it says switch. So that's where the switch will go into. Now you can um, you can shorten these wires up if you want and I would recommend that. Um, I didn't bring a, a wire stripper so I'm just going to leave them long and they're going to go. Now these aren't polarity sensitive for the switch so the switch you can just put in and screw down and I got a screw that's too big. So make sure it goes in all the way and screw down on the terminal block the corresponding screw. Give it a tug, make sure that's coming out. Um, you can tin these with solder if you want. It's not a bad idea. Okay, that was 
with the black one. Oops, and that one was loose. So that's why we tug them out, tug on them. Okay, that's good. Now you're going to bend these wires down because they got to tuck in nice and tight because they're going to go inside that coupler like that. Okay, now we're going to get to the igniters. Now, I like the Quest Q2 G2s. Uh, they're really hard to get right now, especially the ones that are long. They come in two varieties, long and short. This is a short one. That's a long one. You can see the wires are just longer. Um, if all you have is the short ones, you're gonna, you may need to um, solder some additional wires on it to make it long enough, um, at least for one of them. You can use one short one, and you can, I'll show you that. Um, so and on your altimeter, again, you, you look at what it's going to go. We got a main and an apogee. Now the main is going to go on this side. This is going to be the front of the rocket. So when we put things together, it's going to go towards the nose cone. That's our main parachute. The apogee chute is going to be down here at the bottom. Um, now these are very long wires, and if you leave them long, they're going to they could short out. So I like to leave just about an eighth inch of exposed wire on them. Just cut them off with a wire clip clippers. And this is going to see that little hole here that goes through the hole. Hopefully there's no glue in there. <laughs> if there's glue in yours, you're going to have to run a little drill bit through there to clean out that glue. And we're going to stick this into the up. Oh, this is main, so the main goes on this side. One at a time. Double check, okay, and then pull it as far through as you can. Okay, so that is the igniter for the main, and then the other one, you will definitely need a longer one for this. This one goes to the apogee side. Goes in there like that. Okay, so in the next video, we'll start assembling things and uh, put on the uh, ejection charge canisters, hopefully. <laughs>